to introduce to some and present to others our own Dr. Patricia Van Pelt. She is an evangelist. She is a fourth term state senator, but more importantly, she is our pillar of wealth, our president, our co-founder, my friend, my colleague, my mentor, my sister. And where are you? Because you're not on the regular line. I see you. And so here you go. Are you out there, my dear? Yes. Can you hear me? I can. All right. Fantastic. Am I coming across okay? Yes, you are. Good, good. I'm on my phone today, you all. My Bluetooth is not working. My Wi-Fi is not working. I'm down here in Springfield. But you know what? One of the most refreshing parts of my day is getting on this line. Every day, Monday through Friday, I love getting on this line. The reason why is because it's like getting a big glass of water first thing in the morning. Refreshing to my spirit, refreshing to my mind, refreshing to my purpose in life. So this is Dr. Pat, and you know I'm one of the co-founders and president of Wakana, and I'm here to talk about waking up wealthy now, right now. Wake up wealthy right now. That's what we're talking about today. Uh, a lot of people are waiting to wake up wealthy. Well, I can hardly wait till I'm wealthy. You know, you can choose to wake up wealthy now, and it has everything to do with what you allow yourself to think about, what you allow yourself to think is possible. You know, the people who have the scriptures on their side, I mean, we got upper hand, really, because we got something to rely on. Oops, that's my alarm going up. We have something to rely on that other people don't have, and that is we have... Uh, the scriptures, the word of God that we believe. So that helps us to get ourselves to the next level from the get-go. We don't even have to wake up and say, what's going on? We got to already know truth when we hear it. Now, some of you all may not call it God, but you know the truth is the truth. You know, what you give out is coming back to you, right? <laughs> That's what it says. If you love, you're going to be loved, all that. Judge not all that because you don't want to be judged. All that is stuff that we can learn in the corporate world. We can learn in a professional way, uh, but also in the scriptures all day long. As a man thinks, what he thinks about all day, that's who he is. So when we think about waking up wealthy, I want to bring you back to this point, not to the scriptures, but to the point of where you are right this moment, right now. Because every day, every minute, every second, we are creating our world. Now, we're either creating our world by allowing other people to guide us and direct us, or we're creating our world by our own functioning good thinking. I hear a lot of background noise. I'm not sure if that's from my I'm so end. sorry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I didn't know because I'm on a speakerphone. I don't know if I'm getting other distortions, right? But we can we control the world that we live in. And as soon as we can learn this, the sooner we can take ourselves to a whole other level. When we understand that, yes, what you're thinking is controlling your world. How many of you all have ever woke up and just didn't feel right? You just didn't feel, not that you didn't feel good because your body wasn't hurting, nothing was going on, but you just didn't feel right. You know, that's another one of those tricks to keep us thinking about what's wrong instead of recognizing all that is right, right? Instead of recognizing all that is right. So my, my message to you today is be conscious of what is right. And focus in on what is right, what is good, you know, what is true, the things that you got, the friends that you have, the the the, the wealth that you do have, the, the shelter over your head, that you're not being bombed in Ukraine. You know, you actually have an opportunity and you're not in Russia and waiting for somebody to bomb you either, right? You actually have an opportunity to create this day into whatever you decide you want to think about. Now, if, you know what? I, I want to tell you this little story about a lady. In fact, it was my first lady. At that time, she was, she was, uh, her husband was traveling. Her papa was for traveling. He was in Africa, and he was back and forth Africa, Jamaica, Brazil, different parts of the state. And she would get a little ill in her body from time to time. Um, and so once he, when he went to Africa, she was just having the hardest time breathing. Her nose was running. She just wasn't feeling good. And all of a sudden, he called and said, "I want you to come to Africa." tomorrow or the day after. Let's see how soon we can get you a flight here. All of a sudden, her nose cleared up. It wasn't running anymore. She wasn't gloomy anymore. She was bright and giving and sharing. And all of a sudden, she had all this going on from one phone call. 
And what happened? Was it the phone call? No, it was her thoughts. She changed what she was thinking about. And so I want to encourage you to change what you're thinking about. I know some people say, well, I tried that before and everything still stays the same, right? But that's not true because people all over the world are changing their surroundings by their simple, simply taking control of their thoughts. So you understand that you have to consciously take control of your thoughts because if you don't, everything that you've ever heard, everything you've ever seen will be repeating in your mind. Most people are just repeating the same thoughts over and over again. And this is one thing that attracted me to my husband. When I read his profile online, one of the things that stood out to me is that he said he liked to read. What does that tell me? That means he has an open mind. So I knew that there was a chance for me and him simply because he had an open mind. He was willing to grow. He's willing to think beyond his own thoughts. And, you know, <laughs> in fact, a couple of days ago, he said to me, um, you see, even something was going on, something did with black people, and he was having a challenge with this one, a challenge with that one. Then he said, wait a minute, what's going on with me? Am I having some kind of problem with black people? You know, it was something on television. Why am I so critical of black people? He said, I got to ask myself what I'm thinking. That's what he said. He said, I got to ask myself what I'm thinking. And we both laughed because he got to ask himself what he's thinking. He said, because it's not, he said, why am I so hard on black people and not as hard on other people? I don't, you know, so he was basically saying that he saw himself doing something that he hadn't intended, right? And he said, I got to see what I'm, I got to ask myself what I'm thinking. And some of us need to ask ourselves what we're thinking. If things are gloomy and dark around us and, you know, just like nothing special is going to happen today, what's wrong with us, right? Something special is happening every second, every nanosecond. Something special is happening, even though we don't see it. Even though, like my first lady was, her nose was running. She was not feeling good. She was gloomy. You know, she was not just walking around kind of down a little bit, not, not, not like down, like depressed, but just not her funky self, right, until she got that phone call. It wasn't the phone call that moved her. It was her thoughts that changed, right? Nothing else had changed but her thoughts, her anticipation, her expectation. So I want to encourage everyone in Wakanda land to grab hold to some expectation this morning. Grab hold to some excitement this morning. Understand that things are changing around us every second. Something exciting is happening every single second. Do not look back on your life at the end and think about all the things you could have done. Think about today what you will do. And the, and the ma major thing that you can do to make your life so much better is take back control of your thinking. In other words, you have to turn it, you know, like when I get up in the morning, I don't check social media because I know they're going to tell me what to think early in the morning. I do not need social media telling me what to think early in the morning. I don't need the news telling me what to think uh, early in the morning. I don't need anybody telling me what to think early in the morning. I need to give my mind back to God. I need to give my mind back to the universe and allow myself to absorb all the excitement and the great things that are happening right this second that I can't even see, but they are manifested in my mind. You know, I was reading Joe Dispenza's book, Dr. Joe Dispenza's book, called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. I, I can't remember. Somebody told me about this book that's a part of Wakana. And, and on page, what page is that? Page 40, it says, when we keep, you say, keep revisiting familiar thoughts and feelings, keep revisiting familiar thoughts and feelings, and you keep creating the same reality. He said, when you keep revisiting, you keep revisiting the familiar thoughts and feelings, and, and you, that's what makes you keep creating the same reality. So every day, I'm creating my reality. In the middle of the day, I'm creating my reality. When I feel, you know, a little uh, something going on, you know, like I don't feel like things are right, I just rebuke that stuff, right? Because I know that's some made-up stuff, right? And I'm not into making up stories, all right? So I'm going to accept what's happening for me. The best thing that can happen for me is happening today. The best thing that can happen to me is happening today. The best thing that can happen to me is happening to me right now. That's why I love getting on here with Wakanda every morning. I love it because it's a place where we can come and hear inspiration. We can hear drive. We can hear this whole spirit of never giving up. 
we know that we can hear the spirit of excellence when we get on Wakana. That's what I love about this company. It's all about excellence. It's all about the people giving excellent opportunities and excellent products to people. That's what Wakana is all about. It's about us growing our own, right? Building our own world right here in the midst of the world. That's what this is about. So I want you to take today and make a decision that, you know what? I understand that everything is happening that's going on around me, but I know there are powerful things happening for me that I can't even see. So you know what? I'm going to rejoice in the powerful things that I don't see until they manifest. Because as Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza said, if you keep revisiting the same familiar thoughts over and over again, you're going to keep creating the same reality. So if we have the power to create reality, why don't we create the reality we want? That's what I'm, I'm saying. If I got the power to create reality, baby, I'm creating it, okay? I'm not waiting for anybody else to create reality for me. So we can make a decision today to consciously take control of our thoughts and not allow ourselves to go down the drain somewhere or somewhere we don't know. I mean, how many times have you felt that, you know, I know uh, uh, my mother would oftentimes say, I just feel like something bad is getting ready to happen. And boy, she would be so full of anxiety because she felt like, something bad was going to happen. So what she was waiting for it was something to attach that bad thing to, right? Something to happen that she could attach that bad feeling to. That's what she was waiting for. And, you know, I, I, when I grew up, I, I, I was watching that happen. And for some reason, I didn't take it on. I don't know why I didn't take that on, because a lot of times we take on this, what our parents are projecting. Uh, but I didn't take that on for some reason. And as I grew older, I understood that that was a waste of time for me, because I wanted to have fun. So I didn't want to waste my time thinking something bad was going to happen that hadn't happened already that I couldn't control and I didn't even know what it was, right? So I, I just want to say that, you know, when you allow your thoughts to go where they want to go, they will take you someplace you're not intended to go, okay? But if you take control of your thoughts and you train your thoughts to think about the positive side of everything, the positive side of everything, because everything has a positive side. Every single thing. If you if you train your thoughts to, I'm going to zero in on what's positive, right? You know what's going to happen? Positive is going to come back to you because you are creating your own reality. And I am so proud and happy to just say this. And you should be proud and happy to say it too. And I have the power to create my own reality. Man, that makes you the queen. That makes you the king of your world. All right? So let's take it to the top. Let's take ourselves to the top. And how do we do that? We start with our thoughts, and everything else comes with it. All right, I'm Dr. Pat, and I am always going to be inspiring you to rise to purpose so that you can have a Wakana kind of day. I Thank am. you for blessing my heart today. Thank you so very much. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Super Felix. <laughs> Bye now. <laughs>